Hey, David. Hey, how's it going, Lisa? Good, good. So we're talking about certifications and specifically more about how the IC Agile one works today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm curious about um, what do I need to know about them, particularly to answer questions from our students. Yeah. Um, I think probably one of the most important things for, um, for our instructors and our students to know is that we participate with as many industry certifications as we can with all of our courses because um, Agile Coaching Institute itself is really aligned and um, passionate about the Agile Coach learning path, not about Scrum Alliance or IC Agile or any of those other organizations per se. Um, but we know that certifications are important to people. You know, for some people like me, it's a marker of, um, you know, I've, I've progressed, I've achieved something. I mean, that's why I get certifications. I like that feeling. Um, and for other people, it's just a practicality of modern life that their company will pay for their, co their courses if they get a certification. So that's the primary reason we participate with all those organizations. Right. Yeah. How do um, students find out more about that? Well, right now, those certifications are handled on those, all those individual websites from alliance.org, icagile.com. And in general, the information over there is um, not geared specifically to ag people developing, developing themselves as Agile coaches. So it feels kind of spotty and hard to track. Um, but I can certainly talk about it from the perspective of our courses and how they dock into those different certifications and then what you do if you've achieved them. Would that be useful? Yeah, that would be very helpful. Yeah, cool. Okay, so right now, um, the courses that participate with both the Scrum Alliance certifications and IC Agile certifications are two of our courses, the Agile Facilitator and Coaching Agile Teams, the three-day version of Coaching Agile Teams. So if you've taken either one of those courses, um, you are eligible um, to participate in certifications on those organizations. Separately, you're eligible to claim the number of contact hours um, at the PMI. Um, if you're pursuing your PMI ACP exam and you need contact hours for that, or if you're already a PMP and you have to maintain your PMP. Okay, so, so that's all of our courses have that PMI component, that continuing education component. So just put that one aside for a second. So back to the Scrum Alliance. Um, those two courses, the Agile Facilitator and Coaching Agile Teams, um, any time you're in, in a class with us, for every hour you spend in class, that's one Scrum Education Unit. And right now, those Scrum Education Units go toward achieving your Certified Scrum Professional designation. Later, the Scrum Alliance will worry about the huge gap between Certified Scrum Professional and Certified Scrum Coach but it's been down on the bottom of their backlog for a very long time. It's not likely to get up to the top anytime soon. I just had a recent conversation um, a few months ago in January with um, their managing director. So um, we'll see what evolves with that. that. That's kind of how our courses dock in over there on the Scrum Alliance side. On the IC Agile side, it's a lot more straightforward because our courses were accredited by IC Agile to meet the learning objectives of that um, development path that uh, Michael Spade and I were part of creating with IC Agile and with other working group people. So over there, the Agile Facilitator class equals what they call IC Agile Professional in Team Facilitation. And the three-day version of the Coaching Agile Teams class equals IC Agile Professional in Agile Coaching. Now you can get that three days in two ways, by taking it as a whole three-day class, or by taking the two days in person and then the cat eye third day um, telecourse. So either format gives you gives you that. Okay, that was a whole bunch of me talking. So what happened over there? Any more questions came up or, or thoughts? Did it get better? Um, Clearer? <laughs> yeah, it helps it helps me to understand that there's multiple threads um, yeah. in different organizations. Yeah. yeah. Um, some of, the, some of the time I get questions about what do I do when I'm in a class and I can't make one of the days or I have to step out. Yeah. Uh, what do I do? How does that impact my yeah. certification? So for 
since, since it's only Scrum Education units or PDUs for the Scrum Alliance or PMI, you just discount the number of hours you're not there. But people who've been in our class, you know we're pretty much uh, rigorous about you being there. Um, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't skip too many hours before we just asked you to come back at another time when it was more convenient. Right. right. Um, now, on the IC Agile side, since the courses are so tightly lined up with these learning objectives, part of what the instructors are doing is paying attention to all the students. How are they doing with these learning objectives? Are they getting the idea? And in their practice, are they improving? So if you miss um, any part of the course, whether in person or on a telecourse, you have to make up the learning objectives that for the chunk you missed, basically. So, in person, the instructors work with you to try to figure out how you can make that up while, while we're still in person in the class. And on the teleclass, our best option is to just do a one-on-one -on -one makeup session with someone at an additional cost, because clearly that's a lot of our time to be able to, right. to offer that. Right. Cool. Yeah. Well, this has been very helpful. a good helpful. question. Um, there's one more little complication I want people to know about, mm -hmm. um, especially IC Agile. It's a complication, but it's kind of cool. So. The way IC Agile works is that it's, it has the mental model of a university. That you would take a bunch of continuing education classes and that at some point once you've achieved the classes in a certain track and you have requisite experience, then you can sit for what's called um, the expert gate, IC Agile expert gate. Um, and that's the first level at which you prove competence and you get a certification that really means something in the IC Agile um, strata. Right? So those two core, uh, taking those courses, Agile Facilitator and Coaching Agile Teams, that's all you need in terms of classroom learning for that IC Agile expert gate. So I want to make oh, sure so people you, know that. You can that. actually, by taking those two classes or doing the boot camp, yeah. you actually mm -hmm. achieve that particular certification. Yeah. Well, you achieve the classroom learning portion of it. Ah, yeah. okay. Um, and in fact, those certifications are specifically at IC Agile, they're, call, they're called continuing learning certifications. Like to make it really clear that, that the, you know, achieving those doesn't mean you, you're competent in what you learned, it means you learned it. Right. right. Um, so that's one of the things I like about the IC Agile schema because at that, at that expert gate level, you have to actually prove competence. And Michael and I have been involved in the last couple rounds, um, we've actually just had two candidates come through it and we're really kind of refining how it works, but basically it's something like you submit a videotape of yourself using facilitation skills in a real Agile context. Uh -huh. You know, you get on a call with a, a board of assessors, you know, usually three or four assessors, and you do live coaching and then live mentoring with them. I mean, so it's, it's you, you can't really fake it very well. Right. So this is the part yeah. where it's extending beyond just the uh, book learning and into yeah. competencies. Yeah, absolutely. So if someone's really interested in that, um, then they will want to get those IC Agile professional designations. Mm -hmm. And that's a totally optional thing for people because ACI, it, it, boy, lots of acronyms, Agile Coaching Institute. <laughs> Agile Coaching Institute is not really not in the business of selling certifications per se. So what happens when you take an IC Agile accredited class with us is that um, just by going through the class, we submit you to IC Agile and you get university credit for that class. And ACI pays the $10 fee to do that. It's part of the course cost, no problem. So everyone who completes our course is you know, added to the IC Agile website. You can go on there, you can see your transcript. It's a very cool little thing, right? Right. Now, separately, if you want to be called an IC Agile professional, then that's about a $30 fee that IC Agile charges um, Agile Coaching Institute. Um, and so we have a separate link for you to go sign up, pay that $30 fee, then we submit you to IC Agile. So this way, really, only the people who want the, that designation get it, they pay for it, and it feels really clean to me that we're not bundling that cost into the cost of the course. And yeah, for people who don't care about it. Right, and, it. and honestly, that we're remaining neutral between Scrum Alliance and IC Agile and whoever else comes along. You know? right. Good. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, what IC Agile does is um, is they charge a really high fee. I can't remember if it's one hundred and fifty dollars or two hundred dollars or something for an individual to claim to get that later. 
Uh-huh. So by coming through us, because we're one of their member training organizations, um, you're able to do that for 30 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Cool. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you can think of that that uh, your students I, or well, I mean, just, would want to know? I, I'm really glad we're making this video because it, this is not a, a super straightforward world we're in. All these organizations are kind of doing their own thing, and we're ebbing and flowing with them as they change. So... We should say this is as of February 20th, 2014. This is how I understand it all works. <laughs> uh, the caveat. That's yes. right. Yeah, cool. Cool. Well, thank you. That Thanks, was helpful. David. Yeah, I'm glad we did this. And I hope everyone watching it um, got what they needed from it. If not, ask your instructor. Great. <laughs> okay, bye. Thanks. Bye.